Good morning, Los Angeles, and good news, Laker fans. Your tumultuous team may be moving closer to world peace. Hi, I'm Bill Plaschke, and this is your wake-up call. Laker fans, according to Yahoo Sports, the Lakers are mulling over the idea of bringing back Meta World Peace. When he was last here from 2009 to 2013, he was Ron Artest, then he was Meta World Peace, but he was always interesting, always funny, always aggressive. He had his low moments like the elbow of James Harden in the playoffs, was when he was suspended for that. He had his moments when he was injured and he would question the coaching, but he also had his brilliance. And that was 2010, Game 7, Boston Celtics. He led the team to victory. When the rest of the Lakers seemed to melt down, Phil Jackson called him the MVP of that Game 7 championship against the Celtics. The then Ron Artest thanked on national TV. He thanked his psychiatrist for helping him get through it. He did great things for mental health awareness in this city. He did great things to get fans on the edge of their seats in this city. And I think he would be a great addition to the Lakers. I know he's 35. I know he hasn't played in the NBA in two years. He's last played in China and Italy. But in the Laker locker room, with D'Angelo Russell and Julius Randle on one side and Kobe Bryant on the other side, Middle World Peace could actually be a world peacemaker. That's possible. I think this team needs that. This team needs his aggression, his toughness. In his last organized game in Italy, he fouled out five fouls. Good sign that he's still getting after it. And again, great guy now in the locker room. He's evolved into a leader. His nutty comments now come all across as wisdom. The Lakers need all this. I hope the Lakers re-sign Meta World Peace. Again, this is a team desperately in need of something like that. Who would have thought Ron Artest, Meta World Peace, coming here to actually bring peace? You can read us at LATimes.com and follow me at Twitter at Bill Plaschke. Have a great day.